we're going today. All right. It's your birthday today. Yeah. Probably not what you want to be doing on your birthday, huh? All right. Did you tell your roommate what you had going on? All right, that's probably a good thing. All right, well, you expressed interest that you probably want to help yourself out. Yeah. Okay, like I said, you're facing two felonies and then, of course, a misdemeanor charge from yesterday. Two felonies uh, of deliveries uh, since they took place on campus, both of them, um, they're enhanced, so they're Class A felonies. Uh, 20 years in prison, $20,000 fine, and they're both. Okay, so potentially the max is 40 years in prison, $40,000 fine. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, you're probably not going to get 40 years, but uh, is it a good possibility that you're going to get pr some prison time? Um, if you don't help yourself out, yeah, there is. Okay, that's probably not a way to start off your young adult life and career, right? So, um, what I'm going to ask for you to do is to do some buys for me then, okay. and where you'd have to wear a wire, you'd have to go buy marijuana from individuals, and then. You know, depend upon how you do and so forth, you know, a lot of this could go away. You know, are you, is it all going to go away? Probably not. Are you going to probably have to plead guilty to like maybe a misdemeanor possession of marijuana? Probably, you know. Um, but at least you're not pleading guilty to felonies. Yeah. Okay, is that fair enough? Very fair. Okay. Uh, is there individuals that you know on campus or around town or whatever that you can buy from? One chick that sells out of the campus apartments that I know of. Who's that? I'm not sure the name, but I have a few buddies that buy from her. Okay, who are those buddies? Well, just one. Yeah. Okay. Do you know where this gal lives? <coughs> kind of. Okay, where does she live at? You know where the stop and go, the apartment's right across the street. Yep. She lives, I want to say, the first two on the negative. This is 16th Avenue? Yep, the stop and go is right here. Okay, and she lives in one of these? Yep. Okay. You don't know her name? No. no. Okay. Have you ever bought from her? Uh, indirectly. Indirectly, like you bought from a buddy that bought from her, or what? My buddy money, and he went in there. And Anybody else you can buy from? In town. Yep. Not in this town. What what other town can you buy in? Fargo. Okay. What do you know in Fargo? Okay. How much can you get from him? You can get quite a bit. What's quite a bit? Like two, three ounces at a time. Okay. Would it be uncommon for you to buy that much though? I mean, if you went and bought that much, would it be like, what the hell? Probably. Maybe, I don't know. If you went and bought an ounce? That would be more reasonable. That would be more reasonable to say you're trying to sell, make some money on campus? Yeah. Okay. We could probably, we could probably entertain that idea, you know, setting you up with Fargo. That's a different task force, but if you're willing to help them out, then, you know, I'd give you credit down here. Yeah. Or, who, uh, you can't buy from anybody else? I have a lot of people that I can talk to and find out buyers, but no. Okay. Because you're going to have to do it more than just two people to get that, you know, the felony levels down. I understand. You know, I mean, time is of the, I mean, time is not a problem. You, uh, you're here for next semester, right? In all of next year. In all of next year? Most likely, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want to drag it out all of next year, yeah. but I mean, I'll, 
you know, we could drag this out, you know, into after Christmas type deal, you know, but I don't want to drag it out into here next year. Yeah, I understand. So, so let's get back to this gal. Um, What if he says, well, I'll just get it for you? Or you just give me the money? Yeah, because that'd be, I mean, I, I would entertain, um, you know, if you Yeah. Um, who's your roommate? Do you, do you normally get it for your roommate or what? No. Your roommate gets his own? His, yeah. Who's he normally get it from? Some guy in cargo. Okay. Do you know where he lives? You have his number on you right now? Yeah. What's his number? You think you can get do a deal today on that gal? I could try. What do you guys normally just meet up in a parking lot in Fargo or somewhere? Yeah, gas station. Okay. What's he drive? Some days it's a silver fusion, and other days it's a black SUV. football players on campus or anything that sells that you can buy from or anything? No. I I bought from a couple times. Okay. Like he's not there anymore? I'm not sure. I haven't contacted him. Okay. Well, I'll sign you up and then you, it's up to you to make your contacts, okay? And go from there. Um, you know, we got a, you know, you got two felonies hanging over your head, so we're going to look at probably doing each individual we do, we have to do two deals on, okay? So you have to do two deals on per individual. And then um, we're going to be looking at probably, you know, three or four individuals that you're going to have to do, okay? Okay. Is that fair enough? Okay. I mean, it sounds like you already got two for sure that you can do. It's just a matter of doing two more. Okay. All right. And like I said, we'll give you the time to do it, to, you know, relatively speaking. I don't want it to go into the summer, obviously, and yeah. stuff. But we want to faster we can get it cleared up the faster you can get it cleared up do you understand i understand so um we just got some paperwork that we're going to do um real quick and then uh, we'll get you rolling what's your address john Do you have any nicknames or aliases that you go by? Just, they call me my last name, Static. Okay. What's your phone number? Ninety-three? Yep. City and state that you're... Any um, 
tattoos. Do you use anything other than marijuana? Have you tried anything other than marijuana? Yeah. What have you all tried? Just LSD. LSD? Yeah. How'd you like that? Didn't like it at all. Where'd you get that out? From my buddy in Fargo. Okay. So if you could buy some LSD in Fargo? Or can you buy anything other than marijuana? Not saying it's for you, but could you all say it's for a buddy? Which social security number? Okay. Your driver's license out of North Dakota, obviously. Uh, your vehicle? Is that under your name or your parents? Uh, I'm not sure. Yep. That's what I needed. You're in your second year of college? Yep. Um, have you ever been arrested before? Uh, As an adult? What do you normally go through to get your weed? Okay. I don't buy very often. I do. Yep. Any brothers or sisters? Not living. Okay. You had a deceased brother. A deceased brother? What happened there? He got hit by a train. Ooh, that ain't good. How long ago? This would be eight years ago. Oh, that's already here now. Alright. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read these out loud and then I need you to verbally answer yes or no to me and then I also need you to write yes or no in the boxes, okay? Yeah. Do you understand that you have no police power under the state of North Dakota or any lo local government subdivision and have no authority to carry a weapon? Yes. This is obviously all questions while you're working with me, okay? Do you understand that your association with the BCI is only as a confidential informant and that any payment received from the BCI will not be subjected to federal or state withholding or social security, all reporting income is your responsibility. Now this is not gonna apply to you right now because you're working off charges, but let's say we get done where your charges are worked off type deal, and let's say you know, you know a few more people and you wanna go buy and make some cash, it's, you, know, you can make some pretty good cash and I'd be willing to pay you for that if you wanna entertain that idea later. Uh, you go buy some marijuana, if it takes you five minutes, you'll, you'll get paid 100 bucks to do a deal. If you go buy meth, pills, whatever, Pay 200 bucks. So, um, quick, easy cash. If you want, if you work off deals, you know some more people. If you want to make money, it's just that we don't give you a W-2 at the end of the year. You understand that? Okay. Uh, do you understand uh, that as a confidential informant, that you are not an employee of the state of North Dakota, nor are you entitled to workman's compensation or unemployment benefits from the state of North Dakota, and will not hold the state liable for any injuries or damages incurred by your reason of association with BCI? Do you understand that you are not privileged to break any laws during the course of your association with the BCI investigation and you are not to handle any contraband or illegal drugs at any time less specifically authorized to do so by the uh, by me basically. Do you understand that? Basically uh, your days of smoking weed, possession weed, possession of drug paraphernalia are done Okay, while you're working with me. Now once we're done working, if you want to go back to your old ways and do whatever, then it's just a cat-mouse game again between me and you, you understand? Yeah. While you're working, you need to stay clean, okay? 
Um, and the reason I say that is because it helps with your credibility and all that stuff, okay? Um, we work with a lot of different people out there, and we have eyes everywhere, okay? So um, don't be caught doing it, okay? And we will find out. Um, do you understand that you are not to divulge to any person except to the agent whom you are associated with your status as a confidential informant for the BCI and that you will not use your association with the BCI to resolve your personal problems? Now, with that is basically if you get jammed up in trouble with the police or anything, don't tell them, any law enforcement officers that you are associated with me, okay, at the time. Whatever you did, take your lumps and then you call me afterwards, okay, and then we'll work it out. Um, not that we don't trust cops, it's just uh, you're not going to throw that card out there. On the, on the second token is you can't tell anybody you're working for me, obvious, for obvious reasons. Not even, you, you try not to tell your roommate, anybody, because the more people that know, if that word gets out, you know as well as I do, people are going to think you're a narc, and nobody's going to work with you. I mean, nobody will touch you. Of course, if you can't buy dope, you're not getting to me. Okay, you understand that? All right, so. I understand. Uh, do you... Do you understand that you are to report to me um, who you're assigned to work with as on a continuous basis while actively associated with BCI? Um, you're going to have to check in with me every so often um, that we see fit. Um, if you don't check in with me or if I lose contact with you, I'm just going to assume that you don't want to work anymore and then I'm just going to cut the warrants for your arrest and then uh, throw you in jail. So you're going to have to keep, you know, on a, not like on a daily basis, but every few days you're just going to have to check in and just say, hey, uh, this is what I found out, or I'm working on this, or I maybe got nothing, but um, you're going to have to check in with me and we'll go over that when we're over here. You understand that? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you understand that uh, your association with BCI does not afford you any special, special privileges uh, regarding the use uh, or sale of a controlled substance? Yes. There you go. We need you to stay clean. Um, do you understand that? Uh, you are not to use a BCI or any of its agents as a credit reference or employment reference unless prior approval is obtained with the agent to whom you're associated with. Basically, don't ask. It's not going to happen. Hey, yes. Not that you want a BCI agent or any drug agent as a credit reference for you anyway. That probably won't look good. Um, I'm going to explain entrapment for you uh, before I ask you the question. Uh, entrapment is getting somebody to do something they normally wouldn't do. Okay, We're not out here to make people into drug dealers, okay, we, you know, we don't, um, we're going to give you the money for the drug deals, okay, you're going to spend our money, but you're going to treat our money like it is your money, so mm -hmm. if somebody's trying to rip you off, you need to call them out on that, okay, uh, because you're going to have to act like it's your money. Um, we're not going to offer somebody a thousand dollars to go get us an eighth of weed because it's not worth it, right? Yeah. Um, that's just an unrealistic amount, and somebody who doesn't normally sell drugs might go, crap, I'm going to go buy the eighth of weed to get to you because I'm going to make a shit pile of money, okay? So we're getting them to do something they normally wouldn't do, okay? So that's why we're going to drug dealers, okay? So do you understand the tremor, how I ex kind of explained it to you? Okay. Um, are you under parole and probation right now? No. You might want that. you got to put yes in the verse. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. I'm going to read it anyway, but it's not going to really pertain to you. That uh, Do you understand that if you are currently on parole and probation, that prior to approval must be attained from a district court judge after an in-camera hearing before entering into any agreement with the BCI? Yes. Do you understand that no promises can be made to you about court appearances and that you may have to appear in court as circumstances required? Okay. What that is is basically you're going to do these deals. You're our state witness, okay? Um, if they take it to a jury trial, you may have to come back and testify against the individual that you purchased narcotics from. Do you understand that? Now, with that, I know there's some hesitation. Now, with that, uh, I've been doing this a long time. My partners have been doing this a long time. We have never, ever had anybody come back to testify yet. Um, the reason for that is, one, we do. that's why we do two buys on an individual. Um, it secures up the cases. It really makes them strong. Um, so... Uh, two things happen. One, they either take a plea agreement, or number two, they end up working like in your situation. We might give them an opportunity to work, and then uh, then you they don't have to come back, and so forth, you don't have to come back. We've never had anybody have to testify. I'm just telling you, could it happen? It could happen. We just have never had that, because nobody wants to really go to a jury trial and try to chance that they're gonna get 40 years in prison. So, so I'm not gonna be, they're not gonna know that I they, here's how we do it, okay? Um, you're going to do the deals, okay? I'm not going to go jam them up tomorrow, okay? We wait. Um, we're going to wait a few months, just like 
in your situation. You have no clue who probably ratted you out. You have no clue when this happened. Okay. You probably may be trying to think of ideas and stuff, but I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Um, that's how we're going to treat whoever you purchase from. We're going to wait a while, let them still sell to other people, and then by the time we go jam them up, they're going to they're not going to know. You know. Um, now, if you uh, put it in a situation where you go to a restaurant that you never ever go to and then you go buy dough from that person at a restaurant or whatever, you know, if you make it the, a location so specific that it's off the wall, could they figure it out? Yeah, they could. You know, um, when they go to a court process, could they figure it out? Possibly, but it all depends if they take the plea agreement and all that stuff. So that's where no promises can be made. Do you understand? Yes. So, um, then you put yes in that. So, uh, and then the last one, do you have any questions concerning the rules and regulations to which you will be required to? Not at this time. Okay, then you put no in there. Okay, date that the 22nd. Okay, uh, should have been 22nd of November, but that's fine, just leave that sign down there. give you my phone number plug it into your cell phone you can plug it in however you want my name is Jason Weber but you can plug it in however you think you're gonna remember me by let me know when you're ready for my number you can uh, when you check in you can call a text message works just fine uh, we do a lot of texting just because it's, uh, you know, if you're around friends and stuff, you can just text real quick or what you find out and stuff, you don't have to make a phone call. Um, see what you can get lined up, okay? And then uh, the biggest thing is about lining up deals, okay? It's up to you to kind of somewhat line them up, but don't make anything definite, yeah. okay? The reason I say that is because we got four agents that I work with. Uh, we are, we, you know, you're not like the only CI. We are, we're working with other people and we work a big area, okay? So um, if you call me up and go, hey, I can do a deal in like five minutes, I'm probably going to tell you no, that ain't going to happen, you know, because I just can't get the rest of my guys around in five minutes and so forth. So, you know, the best way to do it is like try to line something up and say, hey, like right now, hey, you got some stuff, you know, can I come over, you know, and you know, try to line up, you know, four or five hours out or whatever. Um, you know, a good way is to text me in the morning or the night before and say, hey, can we do something for tomorrow? Yep, line something up for tomorrow, and then you can line something up definite uh, and so forth. Um, but just the biggest thing is don't line nothing up in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. One thing nice about it is you are in Wapton, so if you, something does come up for a spare of the moment where you can buy something within a half hour, you know, don't make it, don't tell your people, yeah, we'll do it, you know, text me and say, hey, can you do something in a half hour? It might work out in our schedule. We, we might be able to pull something together that quick, but we may not. So you're just going to have to play that balancing game like yay or nay, you can, you can't, and so forth. Um, and so, okay. Any questions on setting that up? No. Okay. If you set it up through text messages, um, you need to save your text messages, okay? Okay. Because um, I'll take photos of them and so forth. So, any questions that you have for me? Okay, if any questions come up, give me a holler or whatever, but start working on your contacts. Let's get some of these deals done. That way, the faster you get done, the faster gets cleared up. this gets cleared up and you don't have this weighing on you and so forth. And then, like I said, that's up to you after we get this cleared up. If you know more people where you want to make some quick cash, um, you know, we'll entertain that idea at that time, okay? Right. So, all right. If you have no questions, then I'll kick you loose and then we'll go from there. So. Uh, the biggest thing too is when you start, if you don't know these people, the biggest thing is to try to find out who these people are that you're buying from too, because we can't just buy from people that don't know. A certain amount if you want me to purchase or get anything. Try to get what you normally get. You know, we try to get if you, you know, try to get a quarter. Is that what you normally kind of get? Eighth or yeah. Eighth or a quarter. Yeah. I mean, try to get 
If you can try to get a quarter, get it. If you can only get an eighth, that's fine too. You know, I mean, it's uh, in North Dakota. It doesn't matter. If, you know, whether you sell a joint or you sell, you know, an ounce, it doesn't. It's still the same felony charge. I mean, we'd like to get the weights up there just a little bit. I mean, just to show, but it's not a big deal. So, if you normally buy an eighth, that's what you're normally buying. So be it. So, okay. And then, uh, like.